Welcome to Beverly Art Gallery's Mindful Art Engagement Series. The series that invites you to be with art differently, to linger for longer, and to take time to check in with your internal world as you spend some time being and breathing with art. Being curious to find out what each painting evokes in you. As always, there is no right or wrong way to engage with these practices. You are simply invited to bring a playful curiosity to each practice and we would love you to share your experiences with us. Following each guided viewing, Helena Cox, our curator, will be on hand to tell us more about each work of art. So just for now, when you're ready, taking a moment to let your body become still. Feeling the weight of the body dropping straight down all the way to the centre of the earth. Perhaps closing your eyes and allowing them to fully relax. And gently moving your attention to the breath. Resting your attention here, following each in-breath and each out-breath. If you become distracted, it's no problem at all. Simply noticing this and beginning again in this moment. Coming back to this breath. This breath. And now when you're ready, opening your eyes and coming to view the painting in front of you. Let's begin by inviting our eyes to scan over the entire scene, not stopping, just gliding and noticing how it is to do this. Are the eyes drawn to move in a certain way or is it quite random? Just being curious. Now slowing down the eye movement and seeing if it is possible to see the whole painting at once. Perhaps as if you were sitting on a bench, taking in the view. Noticing your breath and being aware of breathing and sitting here right now, drinking in this view. Perhaps imagining the smells and the sounds of this place as you sit. The temperature of the air. The pace of life. And just allowing yourself to rest here. When you're ready, exploring the foreground in detail. Perhaps tracing the whole of the balustrade with your eyes. Noticing how the light reflects off the top. How the shadows dance there. Perhaps imagining how it might feel to the touch. Noticing the columns and the planted border. What colours are here? Can you see any movement? Slowly gazing at the path and the shadows and allowing the eyes to be drawn to the tree in the foreground. Zooming in close to the details of the tree. Perhaps noticing individual leaves and branches. Perhaps imagining how it might feel to the touch. Noticing the size of the tree. The weight of its branches. And its hidden roots. And here we are, sitting and breathing with this tree. 
fully present. Allowing your gaze now to move to the mid-ground, to the bright green trees and the bay and the beach. Noticing if your body-mind has any response to contemplating the water and the sand. Noticing a faint longing perhaps or reminiscing. Perhaps there's a feeling of relaxation. Or perhaps for you, indifference. There are no right or wrong ways to feel. Simply noticing how it is to contemplate this scene, the water and the sand. And when you're ready, exploring the far shore and the settlement here. And the furthest hills. Perhaps you feel a pull to move towards the town. Or perhaps you are happy to view from a distance. Simply noticing what is here for you right now. Taking a deeper breath in now and returning to our starting point, sitting on the bench. Allowing the gaze to move freely around the scene. Noticing if this place feels more familiar now. Noticing how in order to get to know a person or a place or a piece of art, all we have to do is to be present and curious and listen to what it has to say to us non-judgmentally. Feel free to pause this recording to carry on your exploration of the work. And when you're ready, pressing play again or continue to listen now to hear Helena Cox tell us more about the artist and this work. This painting is among the most colourful and vibrant works in Beverly Art Gallery's collection. Together with another set of paintings, this work is part of the so-called Champney's Bequest. John Champney was the gallery's founder and Beverly's much-loved benefactor. The gallery first opened in 1910, mainly thanks to his enthusiasm, and was later extended in 1928. Apart from Beverly, Champney also spent a lot of time in London and especially at the Fine Arts Society, a key institution for the development of art in Britain at the turn of the century. Many of Champney's paintings were purchased during his time with the Society and it is clear that his collecting activities were centred on the up-and-coming contemporary artists of the time. The Mediterranean painting that we were just looking at was first exhibited at the Fine Art Society in 1891 and was praised for its captivating subject that appealed to many visitors. Champney, similarly to his friend and painter Fred Elwell of Beverly, was well-travelled and had a soft spot for French, Italian and Swiss landscapes. This sunlit painting is full of the energy of summer with its crystal clear skies, light blue sea and bright fresh greenery. The composition invites us to imagine ourselves stepping right into the picture and walking along the overgrown balustrade towards the sunny beach with a smile on our face and not a single worry in sight.